quite tempted by that, that looks quite yummy. Oh, this smells really good. I see all the other like UK influencers get gifted this. I said that there would be posh sausages. Well, hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is. I'm just waiting for, no, he didn't say thank you. Anyway, I hope you are doing well. And yes, I am in the car, which means potentially this will always be my setup going to the shops, but I'm off to Waitrose. I'm gonna to go to a big Waitrose. It's about 25 minutes away because all the Waitrose in London are really little. So I'm gonna to go to a bigger one. We're gonna check out what is the summer deals, what food we have. Um, and I'm excited because it is my niece's fourth birthday um, tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some picky bits from Waitrose. We love Waitrose. It is an elite supermarket. I probably should have gone a bit earlier. What time is it? Mm, it's probably gonna be about quarter past 10 by the time I get there. Saturday morning, it's probably gonna be a bit busy, but there is a car park at this one apparently, so hopefully we can get a space. God, I look a bit orange, don't I? Never mind. It's not a very sunny day today, but it's meant to be 28 degrees later, so yeah, I wanted to get out, get my food shop, I need to get some stuff anyway, and then go and enjoy the summer. this area, Bell Size Park, but the traffic is horrific. I went to the hairdressers the other day, thoughts guys. The hairdressers were like, you'd really shoot, suit short hair and being a brunette. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Go, 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 go. you gotta push, your, push, push out. Mate, you gotta push out, you're never gonna get out otherwise. Thank you. Go, 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 go. I'm a bit of an aggressive driver, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. There's just so many little places to like, put that de-icer somewhere because that is flying around in the car door. Now, I need to talk to you about Gales. I don't understand how Gales is so successful. There cannot be that many people who are okay spending four pounds on a loaf of bread. I don't get it. If it was on Dragon's Den, I would be out. I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit cheap. I think it's really expensive. Oh, it's just so pretty here in Lover. Also, Taylor Swift, I feel like, doesn't she live around here now? Because her fiance, yeah, they've been spotted around here. Lots of celebs live in this area, because it's so nice. We always get comments, look at the ziggy zaggies that are um, on the road just before crossing. And that basically means no stopping under any circumstances can you stop and park there. Oh what, my gosh, what road am I on? I'm on Bishop's Avenue. These houses, okay, if any are for sale, I'll put them up now, but they probably aren't. Damn, I need to be working harder in life. Maybe I've never driven down this road before. Oh, I know where we are. Where am I going straight forward? Wow, yay, we are here. Come on, car park space fairy. Got himself a plot. Well, I did actually enjoy that drive quite a lot. I'm gonna, carry on on my phone um let's go get some slightly posher food this week let's go wild <laughs> well, i'm actually gonna skip out on the quick check this time so yeah if you saw my tesco video quite a lot of big stores in the uk have these but i found like vlogging and scanning at the same time was kind of effort oh it feels really nice and quiet in here strawberries yes It'd be interesting to see how much this food shop is. I'm going to buy kind of what I would usually get and a few extras. So two pounds of strawberries, that's pretty normal price these days. Even though this is a posh store, um, waitress also have their like essentials range in pretty much everything. And then they have really fancy stuff um, like the Dutchy Organic, if that's how I pronounce it. And then like the stuff that I just picked up is like the kind of normal mid price point. I've got a list, but just try some things that maybe are a little bit nicer. I do love a nectarine, two for four pounds. Yeah, I've had peaches in ages, I love peaches, so we'll get a pack of those. Quite tempted by the nectarines, so... Oh, yellow flesh 
or white flesh. Oh my gosh, I've never really noticed the difference. I think I prefer yellow. I'm really bad at like buying a ton of fruit that literally is ripe and ready to eat and then end up throwing half in the bin. So I'm trying to get a bit better at that. I'm sure a lot of people in the UK are like, whoa, this is so expensive. And then people abroad are like, this is so cheap. But um, yeah, Waitrose is a slightly higher price point um, type of retailer. So yeah, pack of Dutchie, that's very nice. Uh, nectarines for three four for three pounds which is quite expensive and i need to stop buying avocados because they never eat them someone messaged me the other day saying this is very similar to trader joe's in america oh, there we go i showed you the mushrooms in um tesco here's the the mushrooms i don't know if i want any should i get some i'll be honest i always buy my, my nuts in aldi it's way cheaper like way cheaper um we've got some exotic fruits get things like this you wouldn't usually get in i'd say in like tesco i don't know like a literally a thing <laughs> a coconut water do i want kiwis i end up never eating them to be honest with you let's get a couple of lemons i'm still trying to get back into the routine of having like a i don't know like half or a quarter of a lemon with hot water in the morning and it's really it is kind of helping my skin we do have quite the selection oh my gosh i tend to like roast them do you know what let's give these a go Look at me being healthy. And these types of things, like I would buy, like if I have someone coming over, just so it's like easy and just chuck it in the oven. I'm trying to keep an eye out for like gluten free and like vegan, but yeah, they have uh, gluten free Yorkshire puddings. They look pretty good. I love Yorkshire puddings. I know some people watching this will be like, no, you have to make your own. But if you're lazy like me, you can just buy them or buy them from the freezer section. And as expected, there's like a whole meat counter. And then within bacon, I'm not gonna get any, but yeah, there's quite a lot of um, just like, yeah, not nicer brands. I don't know if they sell these in, in regular supermarkets. Let me know if you're in the UK and you've seen this, but our bacon is really good. I rarely buy chicken anymore. I don't know why, I feel like I've gone a bit off of it. The kind of chicken I like is like the heavy processed, <laughs> like chicken dippery kind of things. Um, could be quite nice. I probably should be planning my meals for the week, but do you know what, for £4.75, I personally think that those are quite good. And I'm very tempted with the pork and apple stuffing, so I'm gonna have that. Waitrose are really known for their kind of foil, ready to go, chuck it in the oven stuff. Very similar to what we saw in Tesco, but as you can see, you get all these different, um, like nice meals. You get something a little bit different here. I'm quite tempted by that, that looks quite yummy. Mexican inspired chicken, um, usually very chicken or fish heavy but there's always so much to choose from um i used to buy quite a lot of these actually but these are really good if you've got like a family or you just like a lot of chicken they're like ready to go with all the all the flavorings on top for nine pound fifty um i've definitely had those meatballs before and all the sausages to pick from but again i'm gonna grab my chicken ones and these are 25p more than what they were in tesco but that's okay these are so good still cheaper than buying them in the local store. We do love a chicken in a bag, ready to go. So you've got a barbecue glaze one there, sage and onion stuffing, like that chicken I bought. And then what's that, garlic and herb. I do love the pre-packaged salad in Waitrose. It's the best. I've already got some mango at home, um, but I think I'm gonna get some watermelon fingers for five pounds. I wanna kinda enhance my salad a little bit with something, need a little bit of carbs. So I'm thinking, Mm, spinach chickpeas and quinoa sounds quite good but i've never really noticed these packets before these look really really good and if you just want really little bags of vegetables look at these they're tiny <laughs> they're probably um yeah like a little meal and we have even more fish i think this is why i love waitress they always have such a good selection of um yeah just lazy food it's brilliant um although i must confess mackerel i've tried i just don't really like it i need to not buy it again i do love smoked salmon but i tend to eat it a little bit quickly so i'm not actually gonna get any on this trip oh this smells really good standard olives picky bits and all the good little like grab and go things i love these just gonna message my sister and see what we need for tomorrow but no my sister she already has everything um but i do love just things that are a little bit different, like hummus with a nice little different topping there. And I have noticed quite a lot of the Heston um, products around. Really good deli there. Lots of different meats and cheeses. Looks super yummy. But I do want to get maybe like a couple of things, like I said, for tomorrow. I do love some kind of chicken kebab item. 
two for seven pounds. So let's go with these uh, little kebabs and some halloumi kebabs. They look really good. I said that there would be posh sausages. <laughs> look at this. This looks so yummy. I love, you know, anything like kind of ooh, cured meats and things like that. I absolutely adore. Look at that treat. So amazing. I went through a phase of keep buying these, but when I lived in Clapham, I used to go to Waitrose and literally buy one of those almost every week which is really bad just torturing myself going down the sweets and chocolate aisle i don't need any i want them we're gonna swiftly move along and i quite like <laughs> also not at the same time they just have random big areas for wine in the middle of aisles so if you want some chocolate and wine you can I'm not sure if it's needed but let's get oh and number four for tomorrow it's on offer guys i'm finally gonna do it well let's see i mean it's 160 Let's see if I actually like Yorkshire tea. I know, I can't believe I've never tried it. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, maybe this one? They look quite nice. Oh, they look nice. Little Italian biscuit bites. And even the posh stores have got microwave meals ready to go. Just noticed this Thrive. This seems to be yeah, helping you live holistically. Let's see what their ready meals are like. I maybe can pop that in the freezer. But yeah, I've got quite a lot. They don't have a specific gluten-free section, but what I'm seeing is the gluten-free and vegan stuff is within um, like the main section. Waitrose are elite when it comes to their pizzas. They are absolutely amazing. My sister always gets them and they're fantastic. But even they're like massive cheap ones they're, they're really good as well but these are like the really fancy ones because like six pound ten i know some people think that's quite cheap but for like supermarket pizza it's quite expensive um but they are really fantastic i mean look at that you know it's not a standard flavor or topping their fresh pasta also is amazing phil tortellini is like my kryptonite oh my gosh that's so good i could just eat every day i could eat phil tortellini and they do yeah like i said earlier like different kind of tierings and Quite a few different sub labels within look at that one filled cannelloni ready to go oh and there's even like a whole kit as well well ignore my earlier comment what am i on about there's a whole section for plant-based and vegetarian and uh yeah this is all kind of like own label stuff um by the looks of things I don't unless i'm wrong i don't think plant living is a brand well correct me if i'm wrong uh cauldron is a brand so yeah we've got quite a lot of the items um like kind of meat Vibe. Some different pies. Oh, I bet the sausage rolls, vegan rolls, do particularly well. Lots of like picky beige bits for um, picnics, so that's good to see. And I've seen this brand before. This isn't bacon. <laughs> Anyone tried it? Is it any good? Um, but yeah, quite a decent selection just for a few meat substitutes. And a lot of the waitros now have got an actual sushi counter, and you can't like specifically order things, but they have just stuff ready to grab and go which is always really really good so i'm actually gonna grab a few things because they usually last a day or so like literally you can just buy like a whole thing ready to go it's amazing i do really like the big tubs and they go a really long way as well i actually think they're quite good value but i'm gonna definitely get spicy cali roll for sure salmon crunch roll those are so pretty looking i'm sure that's enough I don't need any more. I'm buying so much food. But if you do want to order a lot, you can do like the whole platter idea. That's quite good, isn't it? I actually was going to get some fresh soup, but where it's going to be like 30 degrees this week, um, I do really like this really nourished brand. I think their soup's quite good, but I know I'm definitely not going to eat soup for lunch. Way too warm. Um, right, where to next? Another fruit. That's not the fruit juice section. Oh, how much is Lure Pack? Everyone will be asking for that in the UK. <laughs> Right, oh, we have it on offer. Okay, that's not too bad, right? 375 instead of 420. Oh, and that vanilla oat milk that I bought from Tesco. Oh, it was in the long life section, wasn't it? Was insane. It was literally, oh, this trolley is doing my head in. Um, it was like the nicest. I mean, I like normal milk, but it was really good. Someone messaged me the other day asking where like the coffee creamers are. Like, we don't sell those in the UK. We don't have those. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, that's it. That's your milk selection, and that's it. I'm not getting any ice cream, but look at these. These look absolutely amazing. They have a really good selection of like ice creams here. I do think Magnums are like the elite ice cream. There's quite a big selection here actually. I feel like Magnums used to be a lot bigger when I was a kid. Um, I do like the mini ones. Oh, they're double ones. Uh, yeah, we've got the vegan, or is that mint at the top? Not sure. I've never seen these before. Bites. Oh my gosh, I would eat all of those. But yeah, yummy. Oh, Biscoff has got ice cream as well. They look really good. Sorry, it's a bit flickery from the lights. There's loads and loads, but it's very busy in this section. <laughs> Where it's so hot this week, and potentially next week by the time you see this, 
everyone's buying ice creamers and lollies and I also would recommend things like this they do a lot of the like this is an oat smoothie mix you got all your um, frozen fruit in it and oats etc um, these are good as well I've already got quite a few left in my freezer also I've had their frozen croissants before and they're really nice definitely worth getting they're fab <laughs> sorry <laughs> and they've got quite a lot of itsu frozen stuff which is quite interesting to see um, has anyone tried them let me know are they any good Ooh. The bakery bit looks good. I'm not gonna buy any bread. Boys have little bakery items. Um, oh, a little bit sparse. Uh, I don't need to buy any birthday cakes, but yeah, they have really good like cupcakes and stuff like that. So if you want something a little bit special, they always have little bakery bits to pick up. You know, things like cheeky little Florentine, but actually, I mean, look at that. That's very white chosen avocado cookie. Um, that's a fun sound. I'm gonna grab because I might do just a little treasure hunt or something. If I get them the same, my two nieces, that's quite sweet. This is how amazingly unnecessary Waitrose is. Look at this. Heaven forbid you have to have, you know, normal <laughs> dried mango. And I would recommend, um, yeah, Waitrose for actual, like slightly higher tier birthday cakes. Um, as you can see, 16.50. These aren't like ice cream cakes. They're like, like sponge cake or anything like that. Um, that looks insane. But yeah, they have stuff that's a little bit more, I'm trying to see. The less kind of stuff like that if you know what I mean. I am surprised there's not a unicorn cake. Even though I'm not grabbing anything I'm just going to show you some things which I would maybe recommend or look interesting. Hot cross buns all year round as well. I like the little ones and I've been looking to buy some sparkling water that's infused or flavoured you know with something and I went um, to an appointment a little while ago and they had these in the waiting area and they tasted quite nice. Look I'm going to be honest with you guys they're not as nice as you know a proper Diet Coke or you know whatever Fanta um, but I've noticed in Tesco and they haven't really got any of these flavored sparkling waters. I'm trying to look for that brand that I've seen on a lot of American vlogs. La, La Croix or whatever it's called. I don't think they have it in here either. Oh, okay, I'm going to get that one. Um, elderflower sparkling water. Also, why is the shape of these cans now like tall and skinny? Anyone else notice that? I'm going to try the peach one. Some of these flavors are a bit crazy. Pomegranate and basil. Ooh. And every waitress always has a pretty hefty alcohol section and they always have a lot of champagne and a lot of it on offer as well a very big selection of wine and a pretty good rosé selection as well and this one that everyone wants that's a very very big bottle i see all the other like uk influencers get gifted this stuff i'll buy it and be honest with you there is so much oat and almond milk at long life now i know you can get normal milk as long life that's not really a massive thing um because you just buy it kind of fresh but they have the one that i got the other day and it's on offer i mean it's one pound 30 i don't know how much stuff is anymore it's expensive i've got the chocolate one that's okay i probably wouldn't bother buying that again I nearly went to pay and i forgot i had a request my sister was like can you grab a pack of these for my brother-in-law. Guesses, guys. How much is this going to be? That bottle of wine is 20 quid, so that's kind of expensive. Next week, we'll go to Poundland. <laughs> I thought that would be but I definitely got some like nice little treats I didn't buy enough for tomorrow but I don't think we really need much food actually on reflection but anyway I'm really pleased with like the fish bits I've got interested to try a few different things which yeah I've never bought before um I don't really enjoy going physically food shopping um I mean saying that I do make videos doing that I don't mind like maybe once a month which is think I think is what I probably do um, I think it was a month ago I went to Tesco so yeah I'm definitely a tap 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 on the app and um, yeah just wait for someone to knock on my door with delivery I definitely have the cheapest car in the car park I'm kind of okay with that I would never have a posh car in London I don't see the point can I just acknowledge right this Tesla just parked Look how bad this parking is. You have a Tesla. Does it not park for you? Look at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, thank you. Just generally, if anyone's new to my channel, um, I really appreciate it. I've, I've got quite a few more subscribers, which is so awesome. So thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. Subscribe. Thanks. See you later. Bye.